The Fisher's lovebird is a small species of parrot known for its vibrant coloration and social behavior. This parrot is originally from East Africa, specifically from the area around Lake Victoria in northern Tanzania. It is a small bird, about 14 to 15 centimeters, long with a wingspan of 24 centimeters. It weighs between 40 and 60 grams. Adult birds are recognizable by their vivid colors. Their head is orange which changes to red towards the forehead, while the cheeks and throat are golden yellow. The chest and belly are light green, and the back and wings are dark green. Their tail is blue-green with black tips. Their eyes are dark with a white ring around the iris, and their beak is bright red. The natural habitat is savannas, forest edges, and areas with scattered trees and shrubs. They are often found near water, such as lakes and rivers. They are adaptable and can be found in agricultural areas where they feed on crops. They are mainly herbivores and feed on a variety of seeds, fruits, berries, and buds. In captivity, they are usually given a mix of parrot seeds, fresh fruit, and vegetables, and occasionally additional vitamin and mineral supplements to ensure a balanced diet. They are monogamous birds and often form long-lasting bonds with their partners. The mating season usually lasts from March to June. The female lays four to six eggs in a nest she builds in tree hollows or rock crevices. Incubation lasts about 23 days, and during that period, the female rarely leaves the nest. Young birds leave the nest after about six weeks. They are known for their sociability and lively behavior. They are often kept in pairs or small groups although they can form larger flocks when foraging. In captivity, they are very social and love to interact with their owners. They are often curious and intelligent and can learn simple tricks. These birds use a variety of vocalizations to communicate, including whistling, chirping, and screeching. The sounds they produce serve to recognize each other, warn of dangers, and express different emotional states. Although they are not an endangered species, Habitat loss and capture for the pet trade can affect local populations. In the wild, their numbers are stable, but they are protected by international laws that regulate wildlife trade. For more information, visit the website papago-park.com. Thank you for your attention.